Welcome back to Tech Time with you guys. Uh, today I have 2011 VW Jetta 2.0 engine. We are going to change the spark plugs today. I'm going to show you step by step what tools we're going to use. And this is the part number is AP5224. That is the, uh, from Advanced Auto, uh, Auto Light Platinum. So let's go for it, guys. Spark plugs today. Okay, say it. Okay, uh, tool intro, take one, action. All right, that was a little weird, but hey, try something different, right? So these are the tools we need. It's the um, spark plug pliers, all right? Um, and also we got an extension with a ratchet. Also, you actually need a socket, a uh, 16 socket, the deep socket for uh, take out the uh, spark plugs. And also, I would recommend also, you need a, um, like an extens extension magnet also. Cause uh, you can actually um, buy the tool specifically for the spark plug if you wanna buy it, a set of it or a tool for it. Okay, so those are the tools, pliers, extension, uh, ratchet, and 16 millimeter socket and a magnet extension. Let's go for it. All right, great. Uh, so first thing you wanna do is um, remove the wire where the, bra where the bracket is, so that way you have access um, to the um, spot plug wires. And um, that's the first thing you wanna do. And then the second step is to uh, remove the, um, the wire harness for the fuel injector right here. And um, just remove that out where you just pack a club and pull that out. So basically, the reason you do that is the one inside, there's two inside of spark plug. You will, you, uh, you need to remove the um, the fuel injector wire harness to uh, get, gain access to it. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So basically, you uh, want to do first right here, as you can see, just uh, slide it out, just that bracket. I can see it there, just like that. And this one is the bottom one. Actually, is for the um, the spark plug or wire on the bottom, so I can see it's wide open now. All right. The second thing you want to do is uh, right here. You guys can see. Just take out the um, spark plug wires from to the bottom from the bracket. You just like slide out. Basically, that's what it is. There's two here. There's a third one, and then there's a last one. Like that. And there you go. So now your it's movable. Nice access to this location. All right, the third thing you want to do is uh, remove the fuel injector for uh, the wire harness. So it's right there. So basically, you want to do is just like press the clip here and pull up. Okay? You might I'm not blocking you, but that's what I have to do. And go just like that. All right. And that's it. And then we just um, get the tools and uh, remove the uh, spark plug wires. All right, um, once uh, you have gained access to the spark plug wires, you need your um, spark plug wires uh, plier. Just uh, grab it and just pull it out. Just like that. Squeeze it and just pull. And here is my spark plug wires. Perfect. All right, uh, what you wanna do now, um, you have access the um, the harness, uh, white harness, or the one on the white harness, the uh, spark plug wire is out. So now you get your handy, uh, bandy um, extension, and then your 16 millimeter socket, and get it out. All right, I want you to remove the um, spark plug uh, wires. As you can see, the spark plug is wide open. It's nice and easy access. All right. All right. All you do is just do that. Nice and snug, and you just there you go, and now you're loose. Once it's loose, just take out, um, just um, remove the uh, ratchet, and just do it by your hand. If you can. No, you can't. So we gotta be a little bit. That there you go. Nice and easy. your hand just like that so when it's loose um, you just uh, 
get your magnet, extension magnet, just grab it. So just like that, out, use your hand, and right there, this is the spot plug. All right, uh, once you get the oven out, here's the new one. It's all auto lights. There you go. And what you want to do is want to just want to compare it real quick. It should be correct anyway, but I um, just want to show you. So that's what the difference is. As you can see, this is the old old spark plug, and this is the new spark plug. And you see, has a tip on the old one's like shorter, and the new one is longer. As you can see. All right, so that's what it is. That's how you compare it. And this was an. Um, it's already pre-gauge already for the tip. All right, um, to install it, uh, so basically you want to do is just like use the extension and the, um, the 16 mm socket, like that. And then just uh, try to put it in there. It's easier for extension. So that's in. You want to be uh, use your hand first before you tighten it with the uh, socket, all right? So it's going in nice and easy. It was too tight, you want to try also, you can move back it out a little bit. Just want to make sure it actually go in nice and easy. It was starting getting too tight. Okay, so that's like almost, it's in, it's very snug. So now you want to do it just the, um, Use the uh, ratchet and tighten it up. All right, extension time to tighten up the uh, spot plug. There you go. Nice and snug. There you go. And okay, nice in there. You don't want to go too uh, tight either. You don't want because you, you might. Uh, um, like strip the uh, spark plug, the thread, so would not be a good idea, okay? So that's all you need to do. And next time, just put the wire back on. All right, once you uh, just use your spark plug um, plier, just uh, squeeze the spark plug wires. And that's what you want to do, nice and tight. And you want to install it. All right, I want you to uh, make sure it's snug in there, nice and tight. And what you want to do, just try it out, try pulling like that. I can see you can't really do it. All right, so that's, it's nice and snug inside in the um, spot plug and uh, the wires. So we're good to go on this one. All right, so the spot plug wire is back in and then you want to do is just uh, put the wire back in the bracket. That's what I'm doing. So just that there. This is like an organizer basically. <laughs> That's what it's for. Go. And then this one. Ba boom. We're good to go. Just like that. Alright. Uh, next one, just put uh, the top bracket back. Just snap it in. This one here. Then one on the top. Just like that. So it's nice and organized. All right, once the, uh, everything is back in place, uh, what the, the last step I want you to do is put the, the wire, uh, fuel injector wire harness back, just uh, snap back in, I like can see, just like that, and that's it. Okay, and that is how you complete it um, to change the spark plug, uh, put the wire harness back, okay? And um, just wanna let you know, um, to gain access to uh, spark plug number three, it's a little inside, like right under the, um, the manifold, um, you don't have to remove the manifold, as I said earlier, uh, but you gotta remove the, um, the fuel injector um, wire harness to uh, gain access to this um, number three uh, spark plug. Okay, so that's, I just wanna let you know that part of it. Um, everything else is the same. Uh, number one, number two is take out the, um, the fuel injector wire harness and then you just take out the um, the spark plug wires and just take out the spark plug okay it's you have access to it it's a little, um, like a crowded but you, you will able to take out the spark plug for all four just want to let you know that part of it but you got to remove the fuel injector 
um, wire harness. Okay, I just want to show you this uh, real quick. Um, as you can see, the um, the um, spark plug plier, uh, wire pliers is positioned, and you actually you have to remove the injector right here. So basically, just remove that. As you can see, you have access to it. So and you just pull it out, okay? Or like uh, you gotta move it a little bit, like um, to the left or right, and then you just pull it up. The um, spark plug pliers. As you can see, I want to show you real quick. All right, but I'm actually not gonna change it. Um, just want to show you, you do have um, access to the spark plug number three, the same as number two and number one. All right, on the other side of the uh, manifold. All right, guys, uh, I just want to show you also. Uh, this is the spark plug number one, right here. Uh, you guys can see it's wide open, very easy access. So you just um, grab the uh, the spark plug wire um, tools, just uh, take it out. So basically, that's what it is, like the plier. All right, this is number one. I'm gonna show you number two right after two also. All right, um, also here yeah, I can see, I, I told you, I will show you this anyway. Also, um, right here, this is the uh, injector, um, fuel injector, uh, wire harness. Just uh, take that out to gain access to uh, number two wire harness, okay? So basically, just take it out. It's just a clip. I'm probably blocking you, but um, let me show you. There you go, just like that. You can see you wide open. You can uh, actually have access to it. Just put your um, ply over there and just grab it out and that's what we need to do. Once again, I just wanna show you um, the, the position of the uh, plier to uh, pull out the, um, the spark plug wires, as you can see right there. And as I said before, it's very tough. It's a little um, tight, and, but you still do not need to remove the manifold to gain access to the spark plug when you chain the spark plugs, okay? That's how you do it right there. And you do it, just wiggle a little bit, just pull up, and you should be okay. And then you uh, just use the um, extension and get out the um, spark, plug, uh, spark plugs and replace it with a new one. So it's pretty easy and um, basic, but it's a little tight for number uh, spark plug number two and number three, but it's doable, all right? Yeah, yeah. I try to stay away from the blueprints. <laughs> Say, uh, closing, take one, action, snap. Closing, take one, action. Action! Hey, that is how you change the spark plug for 2011 VW um, 2.0 engine. All right, basic, easy. Hopefully you can follow my um, instruction. Nice and sweet, easy. Um, just check out my video. That'd be great. Um, thank you for watching. Tech time with T. Peace out.